Hey there everyone, this is Carrie with Any Day Blessings and on this channel you can expect to find all things homeschool, be it curriculum flip, flip, flip throughs <laughs> or reviews, updates on how we use it, daily lesson walkthroughs, scheduling, planning, all things homeschool. If that interests you, I would love for you to go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing to see more of my content. In today's video, I'm kind of in a poorly lit awkward space again. Um, earlier, I showed you our kind of command central space, which is on the side of our refrigerator and how we use that. This is a second space in our house that I just kind of refresh and plan to use again this year. We didn't use this last year really at all, except for I think maybe once or twice we came down here to use this poster, but we really didn't use this space in our house that much last year for school things. But this year, or this coming year in the fall, we uh, hope to use this space for a very special time for my daughter. So for those of you who have not um, seen the Command Central video, I will link that below here. And um, for those of you who haven't been following along and don't know, we have a rising kindergartner and a rising fourth grader. And this space, excuse me, this space is primarily going to be used for my rising kindergartner. Now, I mentioned in my previous video uh, when I walked through how we use the, the space on the side of our refrigerator that I mainly hope to do calendar time, reading, and math with my daughter for kindergarten each day. Those are my kind of must-dos. Probably take about 30 to 45 minutes tops to do those things. And then if that's all we get done, I'm considering that a kindergarten day in the books. But I do know that there are going to be times that I need to give her some more attention and some more uh, activity to do. So I kind of created this space to free up some time for me and her to go somewhere kind of out of the main action of our home that will do two things. It will allow my son to have some quiet to do his assignments and it will keep my son from being distracted when he hears me and my daughter interacting because if he hears me doing something with her, he usually likes to come over and be part of it. And there will be plenty of time for that in our uh, morning basket time when we're all three together doing things. But there are going to be times when I need him to just be independently doing his assignments. And for those times, uh, I may need to occupy my daughter so that he has that quiet time. So I created this space, which is downstairs in our basement, hence the lighting issues going on. I can't do anything about this lamp, it's just this is where it is, and it's kind of creating some weird lighting dynamics here. But hopefully uh, you can see what we've got going on here. And I will move the camera around just a little bit to show you. But this is basically just a corner in our playroom. Our playroom is kind of um, most of the length of our house, not the full length of our house, but it is out there. This is kind of a little inset, like a little cubby area in our basement but the main basement is um, out there and so they're playing with their toys and doing all of that down here. So this just didn't make a good space to try and do homeschool because they don't often pick up their toys right away. They like to leave things out and then that would just serve as distractions to our homeschool day. So I created this space for my daughter with the intent that I would come down here with her and we would use this space together and hopefully that will help keep her um, focused on what we're doing. We just had the power go out <laughs> on one, um, one breaker, so now Google just turned back on. But uh, this area here is um, just a few posters that I already had on hand that I decided to put up, and I created a little schedule. I'm just going to pan down here. I'm going to cut my head off here. These things right here I printed off. I'll try and find the link from where I printed these off. But I laminated them and they're just little schedule cards. I'll pull one off of the sheet just to show you. I have a little Velcro on the wall, but they're just little um, schedule cards. And I just made a little list of things that we would do when we came down here and um, had just like an enrichment time and a special time that I hope to get to most days of the week with her. But if I don't, it's not that big a deal. So I'm going to um, bring in things like our homeschool, or not homeschool, our Memoria Press Book of Crafts for Kindergarten. 
I did a walkthrough of this comparing it to the junior kindergarten book. I will link that below so you can take a look and see the difference between the books, but I highly, highly, highly recommend this if you have a child who loves crafting. They tie their crafts to the weekly read aloud. So what I will do is we will, um, down here we will have class meeting, which is where we'll sing an alphabet song. I have some little posters I'm gonna put right here in this empty space on the wall. I'm gonna put some uh, little nursery rhyme and finger play type of uh, cards on the wall there and we'll rotate those out. I think I have about 30, 30 or 40 of those that we're gonna put there and we'll just work on memorizing different nursery rhymes and little finger plays and things like that. Um, I'm calling that class meeting and we will sing, we will do the rhymes, we will work on shapes and colors and things like that. She knows all her colors, but um, I'll probably do things like, um, tell me something that is the same color as the rectangle. So I won't point to this, but I'll just have her identify the rectangle because she won't be able to read this at the beginning of the year. <laughs> she won't be able to read that word. So I'll say find the rectangle and then tell me something that is the same color as the rectangle. So just kind of fun little things like that. I will switch up this poster with other little basic skills that we're working on. And um, so we will do some sort of poster here, our alphabet song, our nursery rhymes, and that will be class meeting. Then we will read the book that is scheduled in the book of crafts for the week. There is one book per week. Oops. There is one book per week scheduled. I'll just show you real quickly. This is available at memoriapress.com so you can actually uh, see a PDF version of the table of contents there. But I will uh, read the story. That'll be the next thing that we do down here. And then I probably won't have her do the craft down here. I do have special activity next um, on the list, but I probably won't do that down here because I am still gonna keep all of our crafting supplies upstairs. So what I'll probably do is we'll probably just go through the directions and looking at it and then we'll head upstairs together uh, to get that going. Now, if it's something that's just kind of coloring and cutting and pasting, she does have some of those supplies down here in the basement in the play area that she just ha has down here as kind of a duplicate set of supplies. So if it's something that just has those kind of very basic, basic, paper, scissors, crayons, glue, supplies. She could do that here. I do have a little table for her to sit at, but we, pri we probably will go upstairs to actually do the craft. And then the next thing for her on the schedule, on her schedule for uh, down here is recess time. So I can just tell her that as soon as we're done doing this craft upstairs, you can have recess. And so just kind of broke up um, her schedule so she knows what to expect when we come down here and knows that she has to pay attention and listen to mama. I'm gonna uh, step over here to this side and show you this wall area. Now I'm gonna pan down. You can see we have our five uh, star listener poster there and the word wall poster up here. I'm going to put her sight words up here as she masters them. So I'll probably just um, uh, put them on these little banners here I don't know, probably three to a banner, and I'll just um, allow her to um, kind of as a reward or a great job sort of thing, stick it up there on the wall, pick which color triangle she wants to stick it on. And as we are going through our class meeting stuff, um, every now and again, we'll head to the word wall and see that she still remembers all of the ones that she mastered. So that's how I'm going to use this particular space. It's again, nothing super formal. It's very um, uh, optional, I guess it's the word I'm looking for. It's not anything that I'm considering a must do of our kindergarten day, but she loves this. She loves story time. She loves singing. So I think this will just be a good way to um, get her to cooperate with the idea of coming downstairs and, sp and spending some time with mom so that big brother can get in his independent work. So that's what this area is for. Those are my plans. Let me know in the comments below if you have used this Memorial Craft book and what you thought of it, any tips that you may have for me. Uh, we did use the junior kindergarten one and we absolutely loved it. It worked out great. All the crafts really were easy to do and um, yet very um, creative and, and just well thought out. So I think we're gonna love this one too. I will leave a link below, a direct link to where you can purchase this if this is something that kind of meets a need for something you were looking for. 
I think there were some other links that I promised to leave below. If I forget any of those, as always, guys, please just let me know that I promised to link something up and I will uh, go back and edit the description and include that link for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, again, consider subscribing to the channel and go ahead and hitting that uh, thumbs up button so I know that this is the content that you enjoy seeing on my channel. And I will catch you in the next video.